Are you looking to maintain the tannin water filtration system at your home cottage or cabin for your family? Not sure where to start? Want some advice from the pros? Relax, this video's for you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Today, I'm being joined by Matthew from our tech team, and he's gonna help me share with you how to maintain your tannin well or lake water filtration system to make sure it gets rid of that brown water for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know where to start, what you'll need, how to do it, and how often, and what you should definitely not do to make sure you maintain that tannin filtration system like a pro. Now really the first step in maintaining that tannin filtration system is knowing what make and model you have. The basic maintenance is the same, but there are some minor nuances from different models. Now today we're gonna to talk about maintaining the uh, tannin filtration system that uses the CLAC WS1 valve because it's the best in the business. Now there's countless manufacturers out there that use the CLAC valve for their tannin filtration systems. We use them for our Hume tannin filtration system, but also companies like Water Depot, Nelson, and a whole lot of others. And how do you know if your tannin filter uses a clack valve or not? Well, don't look at the front of the valve, look at the top, and at the top at the back is the bypass valve. Now, if your bypass valve has these red handles and they're pointy on one side and splayed out at a V on the other end, kind of looks like an arrow, it's definitely a clack valve. And if you're looking for where to get the citric acid or any other items you need to do the maintenance on your tannin filter, you can go to our websites either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. And I've got some links in the description down below. So let's talk about tannin filter. Matthew, what's a tannin filter? A uh, tannin filter is very much like the water softener. Looks like the water softener. Uses salt like the water softener, a lot more salt. And it gets rid of the color in your water. So the, those uh, wine colors and the tea color, it functions just like the uh, water softener does. And again, uses salt like the water softener. What, uh, what am I missing, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're exactly right, Matthew. Uh, one thing is, you know, what is tannins? Uh, it's, we talked about that a little bit earlier. It's, it's uh, something, it's an organic that's tinting the water. One real quick way to know if you have tannins and it's not a sure way, but one sign that you may very well have tannins is when, the, as soon as the water comes out of the faucet, if you pour it into a white cup, if it has color right away, then chances are it's definitely tannins. If it comes out clear, but when it sits, it turns color, it's probably iron. It reduces the, the UVT if you have an ultraviolet light, okay? The light won't shine through. You won't get as much of the light shining through as if the water was clear. It may reduce the UVT percentage, the ultraviolet transmittance percentage so much that the, it may render the ultraviolet light useless. Keep that in mind. I've got a great YouTube video that, sh that explains all about tannins in your water and it even shows you some little tests that you can do yourself to find out if you have tannins and uh, in your water or if it's iron. And, and again, if you're not sure, send us a sample. We can test, we do lots of iron tannin tests here for folks to see if that's uh, something that would uh, help you. So we talked about some different kinds of tannin filters. Matthew talked about the most uh, common kind. You can get cartridge type filters. I got one here somewhere. What's wrong with a cartridge tannin filter, Matthew? Doesn't last as long as a tannin filter would, and it's very expensive. Yeah, so this filter here is quite expensive. I don't can't remember exactly how much it is, but it's quite expensive. I think it's over $50. And this will only do something like 200 gallons of water. That wouldn't even do a long weekend in a cottage around here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, you need the, the kind that uses the salt, unfortunately, uh, to get rid of tannins in a whole house kind of scenario. Reverse osmosis is another way to get rid of tannins. So if you have some tannins in your water and maybe it's a cottage or a cabin or something like that, and you don't really care that it's in the shower and the toilets and things like that, you just want to get it out of your drinking water, a reverse osmosis drinking water system will get rid of tannin. And we actually have a Cottage Water 75 reverse osmosis system that has a tannin filter built into it. If you're in that kind of a situation, it's definitely something uh, to consider. What kind of maintenance do you need to do on a tannin filter? Again, next to nothing. Um, there's citric acid that you would pour in every so often, every year or maybe a little yeah, bit more a, than a year. A, a cup or so of citric acid, you dissolve it in water, you pour it in the brine well. In the that's, brine tank, that's yeah. That's that, in the brine well, in okay, that yeah. tube. In, in the brine tank, you pour it right in there and then you regenerate it. Now be careful, when you do that, you may get some brown water after that, but that's just because you deep cleaned inside the tank. The tannins is just an aesthetic, right? Like it's nothing harmful to you. No, that's right. You can have bacteria with tannins. You can have bacteria without tannins and tannins is not a bacteria. Yeah. And salt level, how much salt should you have in your tannin filter? It should be above the water. 
Yeah. Same like a water softener. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Again, you got an injector in the tannin filter, just like you do in a water softener, just yep. like you got in an FOB, FOC, FOK. Yep. And again, they have to uh, also be maintained the same way, right? Yep. Cleaning out the brine tank like you would a water softener. That's yep. something, again, you do with a tannin same filter. Thing. Yep. Exercising the bypass valve, we talked about that. So again, on all these uh, iron filters, water softeners, again, exercising that uh, bypass valve will make sure it keeps working and uh, freeze it up in case there's someday an emergency where you really do need it, you're, uh, you're ready to go with that. And if you want to mail us a water sample, we talked about that a little bit earlier, then uh, this is where you would mail the water sample. Again, we uh, tested for free. Uh, 1004 King Street, Midland, Ontario, L4R0B8 is where we hang out. And again, if you're looking for more information about these things, you can go to our websites, uh, watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada, free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on tannin filters and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.